Good day, good day, good day. What's going on, people? How y'all doing today? It's hard out here in the A. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to jump in and show face as always. Express my gratitude. How much I'm grateful for just the rebirth. Happy Labor Day to everyone, friends and family. Um, I know I've been a little distant, but your girl I've been grinding so hard, working so much. I be forgetting <laughs> that I'm that I need to be on social media every now and then, but I don't. I don't be on social media like that. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to say hey, um, let everybody know that I love them. I was thinking about certain folks, you know, um, and really just, um, my mind says give a word of encouragement, but I'm going to take my time and try to figure out what, um, type of word of encouragement I'm going to give. Because I got about, like, seven minutes. <laughs> I got seven minutes before I got to um, go back to finish doing my runs. Um, so, I'm going to just speak from my experience. And I'm going to say this. If you've been praying, if you've been wishing... If you've been looking for a breakthrough um, this Labor Day, this new moon, um, which is happening on Friday the 13th, uh, it's going to be another shift change. And I just want those who may be feeling weary, those who may be feeling discouraged, those that may be feeling... Um, defeated and like they want to give up I just need you to hold on for a couple more days hold on for like a week and if you trust and believe and you stay in a positive mind frame um, all these things is going to come together because right now I'm in my alignment season hi Zamina I'm in my alignment season right now and I'm going to tell y'all um, so many things have been coming together for me. I've been, uh, I've been hush-hush about a lot of stuff and just been, um, letting things happen, not making no announcements on social media, just, uh, staying focused on my tasks, get my duties at hand. And I do, uh, you know, and I did, I went through a lot of, um, worry, you know, because I've been working and um, um, trying to get things to manifest. And it was like, okay, you know, are these things going to eventually manifest? You know what I'm saying? Doing my my candle work, doing my root work, doing my oils, doing my, my journaling, my writing, doing my meditations, um, saying my mantras and stuff every day. And um, the biggest challenge I want to say with, um, the stages of manifestation and bringing things into fruition is always fighting with your ego or fighting with yourself. Because um, that anxiety, that, that ego will come in and, you know, to start to feed you a lot of doubt. You know what I'm saying? Um, even when you're coming into alignment, you know, um, things will start to come to test you. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a, I don't want to say like a karmic ball, but it's it's, 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 it's something like, okay, you know, like a rubber band. It wants to see if you're going to bounce or you're going to pop. And so, it's been crazy. Boy, when I tell y'all, I've been so tried, I've been so tested, but I'm just so grateful that I'm, um, sticking to my guns, man. I'm sticking to my guns with everything. And, um, that intuition, you know, that spiritual guidance, you know, <laughs> we have a lot of battles. We argue um, a lot, 
you know, because sometimes I be feeling like I be in the right. But then you're like, how can you be in the right when the spirits know more than what you know? They see more than what you see. So, you know, again, I be having to push that anxiety and that ego and stuff aside. So, you know, this, this quick message is, is that to anyone who is looking for a breakthrough or, again, you know, self-doubts, you know, do not, and I repeat, do not self-sabotage yourself with your thoughts. Stay out your head. Find balance within your head and your heart. Don't you fly your ass in here. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be here. It was a bee outside my window. It was a bee out my window. My, that bee was trying to come in my car. Um, and, um, a lot of things can be done, um, sooner than you thought, as long as you put the work in. And I'm gonna share, um, something brief, because I got about five minutes. So I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share a quick, quick, um, I'm going to share, I'm share a, a quick um, example of what I say about um, manifestations and breakthroughs. It hasn't even been 90 days. So 90 days um, ago, I didn't have a car. You know what I'm saying? I was on, I was getting on the train. I was getting on the bus. I was Ubering. So I started doing my, my work. You know what I'm saying? Um, putting my intentions down, again, staying dedicated, you know, giving my essays out. In 90 days, I got out of the car. Sitting there again, you know, checking off the list of all the things that I wanted to do. In 90 days, I was able to afford a condo. And I'll be getting ready to move into my condo in less than a week. All this within the, um, the last 90 days. Um, I started putting in manifestations about my business, about my online boutique. And though I hadn't been really, um, promoting or pushing everything online, um, I was still making, uh, small sales weekly to the point right now that, um, I'm getting about two or three orders a week. Maybe it's, it still may not be many to much to the next person, but to me, you know what I'm saying? Without self-promotion, um, to still bring in a residual income. Um, 90 days ago, you know, I was barely making a hundred dollars a week. To now, in 90 days, I'm making close to a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a week. You know, I set a goal. I said to myself, I said, you know, God, I want to make at least, you know, three thousand plus a month. And every, every day since I put that down on paper and been constantly doing the work within 90 days, again, I make about 15000 I mean, not 15000 1500 a week. So, again, I don't be on social media a lot because, you know, I'm constantly staying focused to make sure that I can stay, you know, on my goals. Now, my next manifestation um, that I want to bring it to fruition before this full moon um, comes into is that now that I can make that residual income um, every week, that I want to be able to now start actually taking trips and um, actually going on vacation. So, again, I hadn't put down on paper. I hadn't did the work to figure out exactly where I want to go. But um, just to show and prove and stay dedicated, um, I'm very grateful. I'm, I'm grateful for the God's. So I say, I say, I say, I say to all, you know what I'm saying, my spirits, my angels, everything. For someone to turn around and tell you that it can't be done, I'm going to let you know right now that it can be done. My life has manifested so much in less than 90 days. I'm telling you all, it hasn't even been 90 days, dog. 90 days from a car to a condo to now bringing in $1,500 a week. Um, I'm not going to sit here and turn around and say, well, oh, I'm going to show you all the tricks and trades and stuff, how to do it, because I'm going to put it like this. No matter how much a person shows you or gives you the keys on how to do it, it's up to you to be able to be dedicated 
into continuously doing the work every single day, all day, no matter what gets in your way, you know what I'm saying, no matter what distractions come your way. And like I said, I get challenged, man. So many distractions have been coming my way, and I got to sit here and think, if I feed into this, you know, what kind of karmic response am I going to get to it? Is going to be negative or positive? And though my flesh, though my ego, baby, when I tell you, oh, shit, though my flesh and my ego be one, too, I got to go because my time is up. I love y'all. I'm going to come right back. You know what I'm saying? I can't miss this. Love y'all. Bye.